DNA and its sister molecule, RNA, direct the biology of all life. In the past, we were only able to understand the sequences of fragments of DNA from a limited number of organisms and cells. But over the past 20 years, new methods have allowed us to determine the DNA sequences of more and more complex cells more quickly. This means that we can gain new insights about our world that could not be ascertained in other ways, expanding our understanding of life. The sequencing facility provides application advice at the start of a project, ensuring the most suitable method is selected. So whether the question is, what do cuckoos eat? What is the benefit of viruses? Or how can we better understand the pathology associated with the disease of the brain? We can help answer your questions, aiding and influencing outcomes. I study the world's most species-rich flora across Latin America. The University of Exeter sequencing facility has provided me with top quality target capture sequence data, including from highly degraded DNA from museum specimens, to help to discover new species and to understand how one of the Amazon's most species-rich tree groups, the genus Inga, has evolved. Aquaculture is of huge importance to global food security. It sustains the lives of over 20 million people, most of them in Asia, Africa and South America, and it is predicted to double in the next 30 years. But one major challenge to aquaculture production is disease caused by bacteria and viruses. These infections are expected to cost more than £6 billion annually. The University of Exeter sequencing facility is developing field-based methods of DNA analysis that allows real-time surveillance of viral infections in aquaculture. This way, we can monitor disease progression both rapidly and cost-effectively. Preventing the spread of disease in this way will significantly improve aquaculture output in the future. Our centre studies fungi that cause disease in humans, and we focus on the main killers, Aspergillus, Cryptococcus, Pneumocystis, and Candida. The scary thing about these fungi and not many people appreciate this, is that these fungal infections kill more people globally each year than malaria or breast cancer. What's even scarier is that there are very few antifungal drugs that can be used to treat these life-threatening infections, and the fungi are developing resistance against these drugs. Now, sequencing is a vital tool in our research efforts in the MRC Center. So what sort of sequencing do we do? We do genome sequencing, for example, to identify genes that are involved in the emergence of antifungal resistance in these fungal pathogens. We do RNA sequencing to understand the responses of the fungal pathogens to the host during infection. And we also do barcode sequencing, which really strengthens uh, the sort of competitive assays that we do to understand the extent to which particular genes contribute to infection. My work involves tracking the spread of COVID-19 variants through sequencing of samples extracted from wastewater as part of a national consortium involving universities and government agencies. Wastewater sequencing provides a cost-effective way of monitoring what COVID variants are circulating in the community without the need for testing individual people, providing crucial information on the emergence and spread of variants of concern to inform public health decisions. The University of Exeter Sequencing Facility has expertise in designing sequencing protocols, which was crucial in developing the methodology which is now adopted through much of the UK for SARS-CoV-2 wastewater sequencing. The flexibility and efficiency of the facility means that we can provide rapid turnaround times from receiving wastewater samples to delivering the data to the Department of Health. Ensuring information on COVID variants in the population is as up-to-date as possible. The University of Exeter Sequencing Facility is one of the most advanced sequencing facilities in the world. We provide expert training and consultancy, and we have state-of-the-art instruments and provide end-to-end -end sequencing service, providing applications advice, tailored library preparation, and bespoke bioinformatics interpretation.